UTA head volleyball coach Diane Seymour chose to stay in her hometown of Arlington because of UTA's volleyball success. After winning the Southland Conference four years in a row as a player and serving eight years as an assistant coach under Janie Smith, Seymour took over the reins and never looked back. I chose whenever I was 18 years old just to come and play even and then the opportunity to come back here and serve as an assistant, as an assistant for several years was a great opportunity for me and then then actually the four years ago take over as the head coach is just something that I probably didn't imagine when I was 18 but I'm thrilled at this moment. I enjoyed helping them and telling them where to go and things like that so just just the opportunity to play a sport that I feel like is, again, the ultimate team sport, just really drew me to the sport. And a team is exactly what they are, as Coach Clute and Seymour have assisted one another for over eight years, using each other to balance each other's coaching styles. Both have had a passion not just for coaching, but for helping the ladies learn to play to their full potential. It's phenomenal, like, how much more volleyball I now know. And her commitment to what UTA volleyball is goes far and beyond what you really would get from most any other coaches. So it's hard so. to mature as a coach and step back and try to let them make mistakes and understand that you made those same mistakes when you were a young player, you know. So you first try to remind them of their strengths, obviously, and then try to teach them how you play the game here. It's, it's not as easy when you get to college. So it's a challenge to keep their confidence up and remind them why you brought them here and then also get them to change the mindset. Of so I would say, you know, it's, it's really been a great honor to learn, but it's also really inspiring to work with somebody who genuinely, wholeheartedly loves this program. I guess once I reach 40, I'm most passionate about coaching. Before I reached 40, I was more passionate about playing. I'm James Miller, UTA News.